hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to go around malta to show you most of the beautiful sites that you can visit uh, i didn't live far away from this destination but i thought that today i'm going to go around the city i'm going to walk it's really a long walk so this is like restaurants is filled up in the night and during the day is a little bit empty so today i continue to embark going around the city and trying to show my viewer that hey this is a place that you can just come and have a beautiful and nice rest uh, this is kind of a bike I think they do like food delivering on the street so I'm just really walking from street to street and um, to find a better location because one of my goal achievement is to exactly show my viewer uh, the location the site so this could motivate them to come around to view and to visit such area uh, this is a kind of uh, restaurant in that area that i just passed in the middle of the city showing the buildings and going around yeah i, I think it was a long way it was a long walk <laughs> This takes me about five hours to go around the city. Uh, as I said, Malta is an island and it's not that quite big. You can actually do it in six days if you are really a hustler. <laughs> and I came to this beautiful area. You have um, trees. I think there is a sea by the side as well. It's, it's quite amazing, isn't it? I walk in this residential area. Looks like it is mostly the rich people that live in this uh, environment. But far down is a kind of a big cinema that you can come and book in and watch. Some brilliant teams and have a chill this yeah I keep just walking around the city to show people for me today was a working day so I need to go around show locations and, uh, not just only in the beach you know but to show you how geographically Malta could look like and this is what motivates me to travel. You see, in this residential area, look at the big blue sea. Dragon. Yeah. Look at it. And all this, we have the biggest casino. Quite amazing, isn't it? Now I decided that let me visit the ghetto area in Malta. It's not only going to the tourist area, but I decided also to go where you have the less privilege, you have the refugees, you have of uh, the different nationality that comes around to stay in Europe. I also visit that area to look how you look. You see, you could see the big difference between those tourist area, and this is the real Malta. This is the reality of Malta. And I'm going to enter the shop. This is an African shop. Yeah. I tried to video around, but it was not that easy to visit the show. But this area, I could assure you that this is real mortar. Because where you have foreigners that live, that is where you have the engine power that powers the economy of the nation. This is it. The 
this Malta residential area for foreigners and most Malta also lives around here. It's actually not really far, it's about 45 minutes drive to this area. Anyway. This is it. Because in as much as I have visited the tourist zone, it's also important that I look at the other side. And this is how I do my combination. Then I can evaluate to tell you, is it a good country where you can stay? Or is it just for tourists? And I will analyze this at the end of my journey. Still on the area. We're gonna land down the street of Malta. I was looking for African shop and I actually got one. Came to ask question here, they said I have to go to the side. Uh, I was actually looking for uh, a Nigeria restaurant or any African restaurant to be precise. But I found one when I asked question. I needed to go to the other side, but they bear the same name anyway, and that is it. You can see this is purely residential area, right? Different from the tourist area. African cuisine but when I actually get in here I was quite disappointed because the setup were quite really poor I didn't see it like an African shop in abroad so it was quite really poor the services were poor and let me say it was because this is not tourism but this is where you have mist of other nationalities that lives like a residential so it was not that impressed so now i've gone back to valita city and i was moving it was quite dark it was about 7 pm in the night so i wanted to see how it looks like at midnight and i was going direction to so, get some pizza what are people going to eat today you know what i had wanted to test this pizza because i uh this afternoon i was in that shop and had promised that i would come back in the evening now when it was seven o'clock you could see really the beauty of the city see you see the lights on and people still moving around it looks as if it is las vegas anyway but you can compare it anyway now i arrive here i've seen my friend that we had conversation this morning and i just want to get the pizza and I told him, you know, I want to have one pizza and it cost me just $2.50, about €3.50 because they use Euro in mortar. Yeah, I've told him what I wanted. So he, he, he got me a collar that's for like a kind of um, a gift of one color I say I can have it and he gave me what I wanted it was quite cheap as I said pizza was really not that expensive as compared to other European countries because this is their tradition first kind of meal so you see two euro 45 pounds that's about three dollars why don't you try you could have one the could be about 180 pounds so, um, yeah, that's the receipt if you can 
super cheap here. Yeah. So I got on a pizza, so I need to go back to the hotel to relax and just enjoy it. But I just wanted to tell my viewer that at midnight, this is how you see Valata City is, and you still have shops around 24 hours. So I wish him good luck for the night, then I have to leave back to where I come from. At the moment now, I'm leaving the, I'm leaving Valletta City. Actually, it was my last day of yesterday. I'm at the airport now, trying to see if I can get, I'm a fan of perfume anyway, trying to see if I can get any perfume for myself. As at this moment, I'm heading back to London. I want to start another narrative in London. So, but at the airport, I have checked in my bag, I've done everything possible, so I am just uh, inside the rating, awaiting my flight, but just want to do some shopping around, um, testing some perfume, if I can find anything that will be really good for me to wear. I was just checking around and also checking my board, I hope that I didn't miss my flight. was good yeah at this moment when you test a lot of perfume you were at the end of the day you didn't know exactly what you wanted but as time goes on uh, I, will, I find it this is giving chi I was just looking for something mild and something easy but also to as I said showing location is very important for me uh, so that my viewer can see how the airport looks like after checking your bag checking your passport this is what you find yourself they almost look the same within the Europeans uh, departure hall but it was quite fun going around to see different uh, most of the time you have this kind in this kind of uh, perfumes anyway and they are tax free as well so it's encouraged to get one rather than buying from outside they don't give you stress in terms of checking and putting them into your bags or luggages yeah, I keep checking in, I just want to find something unique for myself. I came to the wine section. I was looking for any wine that I can buy. I'm a fan of red wine. But you know what, I was just looking for something that I could just get as I depart to London. I was taking my time going around and also showing my viewer a better side. But I came to a location where there are big bottles of wine, these are giant. Look at this. This is a giant one. I don't think I can take this. I do not have bag to take it. No, that was so heavy that I could not even lift it up. So I keep exploring run if I can find something better. Yeah, now I think I'm moving now in direction to board my flight to London. So I think I'm almost done with my shopping and my sightseeing. So well thank you for watching thank you for support and if you find my video thank you. you can just click the notification button and i will see you in my next episode and i've always appreciate all your support and your comments and i will see you on the other side of my next episode thank you and see you soon again